What's up guys, welcome back to the EG Pot of Thunder with your boy D Young, Light Skin Key Sweat, with your girl Karen A and with your girl Katie. Lifelong friends from my knowledge, both well, she's from North Attleboro, she's from Boston. I think they're trying to make some sign language behind my back. I think they're both trying to flirt with me. From my knowledge, I can't tell. I mean, that's why I've been getting this entire time. But your girl Karen. K S underscore two underscore fitness. Uh, you want to give a little background on that, Karen? What's that about right there? Number two is my favorite number um, because technically, first is the worst, second and the best, third is the one with the polka dot dress. Oh, so shit. I'm, I'm the best. That's number two, um, and I'm trying to start my fitness page. So I'm a certified personal trainer. Oh shit! So how long have you been doing that for? Um, since 2019. So oh shit, let's get it. Be three years, yeah. Oh shit. So I mean, I know you. I know. I know you have a good clientele. So like, if anybody who's interested looking in, so like, you know, there's a million personal like trainers out there. How do you distinguish yourself? Think distinguish yourself from the rest. I'm awkward as fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> I think really just ASMR. No, 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 right no. There. no. So I know what it what it's like to be. A little awkward, a little weird, but it's funny. I think it's hilarious. And so if you're awkward and you're weird as well, if, if mm. the gym makes you feel awkward and weird, then I think that we can kind of work on being awkward and weird together, but then transition you into being in the gym and feeling confident and feeling beautiful. Mm. Have you ever had those times, Kitty, like when you feel like, I'm not sure, like your experience in the gym, but like, have you had those times where like you want to go to the gym and you're like, damn. I don't want to be someone who's like too like serious about it. So I kind of want someone who like kind of like what she was saying, where like they can kind of have fun and enjoy themselves at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge gym person, but for Karen, I'd go. Mm, like, so like yeah. so like someone the opposite spectrum, like there's someone that's too serious. Does that scare you away? Someone that's too serious about working out. Yeah, it was just like you know, like if you go to the gym, you have personal trainer, and like it's like too regimented. It's like all right, like. Hear what it is. Is that scaring you away? Like, what's like, what's your like opinion on like going to the gym again, like personal trainer? Mm, I think you should do it if you want it. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's my thoughts on personal training, and that I know that Karen studied very, very hard when she was uh, getting her certification and whatnot. So uh, she kept bailing on me. She was studying, oh, shit. so you know she's got that knowledge. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. I like said K S underscore two underscore fitness. Holler at her for sure. So like, so when you were doing that shit, like, did you, you like obviously like, you took that to like a different extreme. Or is that like something you, you like took to heart? Like, where did that even come from? And like to begin with, like, where yeah, that? Yeah, like, I'm actually pretty like uh, I wouldn't say obsessive compulsive disorder, but yeah, definitely OCD on the things that I love and the things that I care about. Um, and so when I met I'm, I met this girl named Steph Steph Mafia. Mm. Love her. Give her that shout out. Um, she, I put her fitness page is Stefan Mavia Fitness, but either way, she's the one that got me into it. She got me waking up at five a.m. Oh shit! Yeah, waking up at five a.m. doing some um, Sean T, some extreme fitness. She had the the hookup, and we would do it together. Um, and she was super fit, super ripped. Like her arms were super nice. Like she would just like just mm. be standing, and like you just could tell that she like was a big fitness girl. Um, and so she hot. motivated me into that. Mm, yeah, sure. no, she is hot. She's a hot girl. Oh my oh, gosh, I miss her so much. Stop. Hey, <laughs> uh, is, is she a personal trainer as well? She is a personal trainer. Oh, we shit. did the we did the certification together. So you can hit me up. You can hit her up. Um, Works works wherever Boston, Providence, Massachusetts. I was yeah. sure. So like, so I know you're based in Boston, but like, is, is there someone like in Providence or anywhere else like distance from you? Is like, are you accommodating that as well, or are you like, like giving her like a whoever like a recommendation somewhere else, or how yeah, can I so go Steph about? Yeah, so Mafia is a big one. So she's in the Rhode Island area. Hmm. Um, and I'm in in the Boston area. I work for Body Skins Fitness. Okay. But um, in terms of like getting started, like your own thing, I think that you should definitely reach out to personal trainers that wherever you've gone. If it's, I don't even want to name the gyms out here, but like LA, 
plan it, whatever, whatever you go, just, just have a conversation with the personal trainer, just as a person, like ask them where their journey, how they got there. And then, you know, for sure. So would you recommend like, say someone going to the gym for the first time, like you recommend getting a personal trainer opposed to just going by yourself and just doing your own thing. It depends how comfortable you are Mm. with being in the gym by yourself. I know it's super intimidating, especially because there's like girls area versus like men, like uh, women what, versus say, men it's 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 a little it's different and and every gym so i think that if one doesn't work for you that doesn't mean mm. that another one that's cheaper isn't going to work for you um not for sure so like you know it's different for me so like you know i think it's the first time i've been double teamed on the podcast opposite spectrum where i have two girls and one guy a full time oh oh <laughs> hey <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit oh shit i'm not mad at it at all i uh, you know, i prefer that in the opposite spectrum but so this is the first time so like what is it like I, i've been going to the gym for you know a good amount of time and i don't have that like those thoughts going through my head that motherfucking fly um i don't have those uh thoughts Can we name going him? through my head Can we yeah, name what's, him the name? what's the name it's l ray that motherfucker <laughs> pops in when he wants and then disappears when he wants it's better for him but uh yeah i never had those thoughts that are going through my head like going to the gym we're eating and yo know, she's getting those carbs in and those uh and healthy fats yeah 100 <laughs> percent those healthy fats in so i've never had those like thoughts going through my head where i'm like oh like you know i've i go to the gym it's all cool so like what's the opposite spectrum beyond the girl side like there's like a girl side literally i go to edge and it's literally like a woman's like section so how do you guys feel about that? Like, do you think this should be like a women's section? Do you think this should be like a women's all gym? Like, how is that going to the gym opposed to like guys? Like, I don't, I don't have those thoughts going through my head. How do you feel about that? I mean, Kate, if you want to start, I mean, I know. Like, I would say honestly, like, I don't have an issue going to the gym because of like it being co-ed. <laughs> But I feel like as a woman, you just kind of get used to getting like glares anywhere. Mm. You're never safe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, man, really. get him, get him, get him. Um, yeah, but I've never really had an issue going to the gym. Like, if anyone's creepy with me, I'm like, hey, take a picture, it'll last longer. Oh, shit. Um, I got a video, so it's even longer. <laughs> 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 like 10 seconds is all you need don't worry about it <laughs> so um even less than 10 honestly just like a quick glance quick glance like mm. yeah I, I, I got those times when you're like you're doing something you turn around and the guy's just like and you're like oh my god the guy's, he didn't even turn around he's just yeah he's just there I, I totally get that at my gym so there's a leg press right in front of the smith machine and so i typically like to like either superset or compound set my exercises mm. And so I was doing the leg, I remember specifically I was doing the leg press, and then right afterwards I was doing just like RDLs, like single leg, just... RDLs, explain that for the... That is, um, man, what does the R stand for? It's deadlifts, but... Rare deadlifts? No, hold on. Raw deadlifts. Not raw deadlifts. It doesn't matter. Cut, Maybe I'm at SDLs, so SDLs, single single leg deadlifts Mm, okay so it's where you straighten out one leg and then um bend the other one and then you just you're just leaning forward Mm -hmm. you're hinging at the hips you're just bending over in front of someone um and so uh, yeah those guys i i i didn't even care if the dude cared or not but he was doing some some type of exercise where he was looking in the mirror so he's probably doing either like bicep curls or um doing like a chest press on it (laughs) he was 100% 100% looking at me the whole time and I just turned around and I was like hey like I was like I don't think that you're looking at me at all but is this like okay with you and he was like yeah yeah no I'm like no I'm just like I don't even know why you were asked that question and I'm like well my ass my very small very modest ass hey, is just bending give over it, and give it you. give it give it credit give it credit <laughs> I that is that is the most credit that I can give my ass right now. Mm. <laughs> that's why you're doing those SDLs, though. SDLs, yes. Yeah, that's what you're yes, doing the single leg deadlifts. But um, it is. Oh, should we kill it? Should we kill it? That motherfucker. All right. Oh. Where? Oh, fucking all right. We're gonna, gonna get to some go. point. That motherfucker. Anyways, so back to your question about like men, women. 
I actually have been considering uh, joining a like all women's um, fitness club. Oh yeah. Yeah, just to get away kind of from like the inherent creepiness that just comes from being a teacher, from teaching fitness classes and uh, teaching like I'm like I'd say my style is like more towards the bodybuilding side. Um, I'm definitely not a bodybuilder myself. Like, I wouldn't consider myself a bodybuilder. But when I go to the gym, I do, like, some Olympic lifts. Mm. Um, and so I like that shape. I like that. Um, and there are men that are still intimidated of that type of style, that, that bodybuilding. When, when they see a woman doing that type of thing, they stare for a little longer than, mm. than anyone would like. Um, you don't... You don't think it's like, you don't think it's like, uh, like a compliment at the same time though. Like, oh, like this guy's staring at you. Like, oh, I must be doing something well. Yes and no. Um, it is a compliment to a certain degree. I say you can pick up the vibe too, like a good like, oh, they're looking because like, oh, she's got something great form, like, yeah. like that. That's like different, a different type of gaze than like the. Look at that ass. Like, <laughs> yeah, but like, you know? yeah. so say like, well, I bet. just don't be awkward. If you're in the gym and you're admiring that a girl is like lifting heavy weight, like right now I'm only at 135, five by five. But for me, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. That's more than my body weight. Like I'm doing good. If there's a guy staring at me doing it, I'm not thinking, oh, he thinks my form is good. It's more so I'm thinking, oh, he's watching mm. me just like hinge at my hips and bend over like, five by five so like 25 times like that it gets to a point like if you're gonna admire someone go up to them and say dude sorry i don't mean to be staring for so much but what you're doing is good what you're doing is tight i admire that i, I respect that and i prefer that over no comment and just staring yeah i understand that 100 percent. but like i don't know like i guess on the opposite spectrum is like being like a guy it's like if a girl's been staring at me doing like five by fives or whatever, I'm like, damn, I'm doing something good. I'm looking well. She's checking me out. Let's do something. So like, on the opposite side, like, it's being a guy. You're like, yo, I'm like, she's trying to fuck. So uh, let's do you it. Sound out. like a slut. So uh, yeah, you sound like a slut. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, hundred percent. Damn. All right, wait, hold on. What's this? So what line. if it was a girl that like you like an older woman that you were not attracted to at all, like. I would still, yeah, I still take the compliment. Fuck yeah. it, why not? No, what, I'm, if I'm it wasn't, what if there was no compliment? What if it was just like the creepy gaze and you're like. I honestly probably wouldn't even notice. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even notice. Like, I'm sure there's been times like the gym where people have noticed me. I, I don't even look. I'm like, I've been in comments like like lately and I'm like, oh, like, my, like people like who I've like talked to or whatever, like, oh, you're looking good. And I'm like, oh, thank you. But I'm sure there's other people have noticed and I'm like, who hasn't said nothing to me, and I don't notice them looking at me. Mm. So, like, I'm just not going through it. Like, I'm not... Like I said, it's, it's different being a guy and a girl. Like, I'm like a girl, you're, like, maybe overanalyzing things. As a guy, you're just like, oh... I, at least for me, at least, I don't look at those people, like... Because I'm not, like, nervous that they're checking me out. Like, the old lady's checking me out. What the fuck's she gonna do? Like, mm. she ain't gonna rape me. Like, I'm gonna knock her out. Like, the fuck? She has no, to... it's not that. It's not about even, like, fighting someone if they're gonna come at you. It's more so, like... How I feel in the gym. I like wearing like crop tops and things that honestly make my like roles like apparent. So that when I look in the mirror and I'm like coming up from a deadlift and I don't like the way it looks, I'm just gonna keep doing it more multiple times. Actually a good word of advice that I have as a personal trainer. If you wanna get better, obviously you're gonna have to set goals. Record yourself. Mm. Always record yourself just to see what you look like when you're doing that exercise. And honestly, if you play it back and you don't like it, it's gonna force you to do a couple more sets for you to get that like picture perfect or whatever. I just started this fitness page literally today or yesterday. It sure already um, has 4,000 followers. <laughs> Follower would be the 4,000 Four one. billion, yeah. million, trillion dollars. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. I think that it like forces you to be accountable of like what you look like, and it'll force you to do a couple more sets, especially mm, if you were sure. like, oh, I looked ugly at that angle, so then just change the angle and then 
what not. <laughs> now for sure. So like, I know, uh, Katie, you said earlier off the pod that you do uh, volleyball. So is that what you do to stay in shape? So like, what's like your background on that? Like sports or like fitness or anything like that? What's like your, you said you weren't a big gym person. So like, what are you doing to stay in shape or, you know, stay active? Yeah, honestly, um, right now I'm playing like a lot of volleyball. My whole life I haven't really been like a gym person. Mm. Um, I don't know, I get really sweaty and red and I'm like, I just don't want to <laughs> do this. And I, I get bored too. I really like, um, I like playing games for my like activity and exercise and whatnot. But yeah, so right now I'm playing volleyball. I started volleyball when I was like in middle school. That's actually how I met Karen. <laughs> mm. Um, it was through volleyball, NHS. Who was better? Who was better? Eiffel Tower. Here we do it again. Oh, hey. Eiffel Tower, of course. Um, we played different positions, so I'm not gonna say who was. Oh, better you guys can give me all positions if you want. No, yeah, yeah. we help each other out. When oh, we're on, exactly. a, on a team, we highlight each other. Katie's uh-huh. a great hitter, and I was a back row in high school, but you guys hit me and back row me. It's all good. I set now. Now as an adult, I oh, set. Oh, 100. Yeah, do I it. do a good uh, bump set, I would say. This sounds all sexual so, as yeah. fuck, so I, I like it all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Double fist of me, so that's um, cool. <laughs> but yeah, and actually I'm playing, normally I've been playing on like a co-ed like league, and I play on a men's net, which is like super hard, I'm not gonna lie. What's the difference between a men's net and a, I'm, I'm it's a, so It's, like, it's a couple inches that. taller, we could Google it. It's more it than a couple like, inches, it's like, I want to say like... Seven point six inches. So, no, no, no. no feet height? and inches. Seven feet, six inches. Oh shit, that's, that's huge. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about how many. What the difference is between the heights? Oh shit. It's not seventy six inches. Is a lot. That's huge. What the fuck? So, I said seven point six. Oh, seven point six. Oh, seven point six inches. inches? Yeah, anyone out there uh, ready to challenge that? Oh, well, shit. That's, Dude, I, no, that's I, big. I could definitely. I'm big. so bad with numbers. <laughs> I'll just um, lay out my cog on top, and then we'll know it's exactly oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's great. I mean, volleyball is definitely uh, it's a big sport. I mean, I don't, I never get into it, but it's definitely, it's definitely challenging, 100%. I, mean, I suck at it, so, I mean, it got to be a tough. It's hard setting and not double touching. I don't know. The, I don't really don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what the difference is. You like setting is comes. like yeah, the fuck up mad. You go like cross. you go like this. Yeah, set the ball that up diamond so someone can spike it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Put that diamond Six. up in the sky. What's that? What's Illuminati. That? It's not Illuminati. No. Put <laughs> that diamond that in the sign. sky and. Back to your forehead and back to the sky and back to the forehead and that's exactly how you set. Is that what they teach you? Yeah, hmm. different camps, different, uh-huh. different hmm. philosophies. The J stroke. I will say that's a lot of bump. girls who do volleyball have nice, nice behinds. They have nice passes. Nice, nice tuckuses. One hundred percent. Nice rumpuses. Mm. Not wrong there. They do a lot of FGLs. Unfortunately, I did not take part in such activities, <laughs> so my rumpus is not what a volleyball player's <laughs> rumpus would look like. But yeah, I can set pretty nice. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Sure. Oh, you can't, uh, you can't uh, spike it nice. What, uh, what is that like a talent? I don't get why is that is that so hard. It's not that hard. It's just that I'm not that tall, so mm. I would have a pretty good. I would need to. I would need need to either be able to jump high, or just be My five height. foot five foot nine or five okay. foot ten. <laughs> five, five ten, yeah. I'm Wait, nice five four. How tall are you? Me? Yeah. Uh, five seven on the, my best day. <laughs> on my best day. When I got yeah. my high heels yeah. on. <laughs> on my best day. Like, I, I say five seven, but like maybe like five six point five. I don't fucking know. Yeah. How how tall did you think I was when you first saw me? Probably five nine, five, five ten. Yeah. Some people are like, are you six foot? I'm like, nah, I knew you weren't six foot. My best friend's like six one, okay, so I knew yeah. you weren't. That fucking the nah, BSF nah, 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 L Ray is fucking flying everywhere. L Ray, L Ray, get the fuck out of here, Dominicano. Fucking Papuera. guys, fucking guys flying everywhere. <laughs> so like being like a whatever five nine and a half or whatever you want to be, um, do you always do you only look towards like taller guys or do you like are you like into like the short like tall guy short guy aspect of it? I always say height doesn't matter when you're laying down. 
That is facts. That is facts. <laughs> I've been with tall girls. It's kind of it's kind of hot. Fuck, it don't matter to me. Fuck, right? You said it don't, it don't matter. So <laughs> yeah, it doesn't honestly. The only time I don't like it is when guys that are shorter than me like make they make it a situation. They make it weird. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, like. So where when when has it been weird? Like what is the situation <laughs> someone's made? It? And this is the Tinder Tales oh. Xbox. Yeah. Oh. Oh. How did you even know that? Um, yeah, so I <laughs> I went on a date with this guy like a while back in like the winter. And he picked me up and he had said online that he was like 5'7", I believe. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. And then he was like, yeah, I don't have any like problem with the height difference. I was like, okay, yeah, me neither. Cool. And we got out of the car and I was like, yo... If you're five seven, I'm six one. I was like, this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is you're lying. And he was like, no, I'm five seven. I was like, all right, you're gonna brush past that. And the whole time he just like looked up up at me like uh, so awkwardly. And I was like, I'm not a giant. Like, stop making me feel bad. So that that's what made it weird. And you're like, but you're if like, it makes the short guys feel better, whenever I'm with a tall guy, if he's taller than six feet, I make him feel like a douche for being taller than me <laughs> like, oh you're so big like i get it like you could reach to the top shelf <laughs> so either way if you're tall or short it doesn't matter someone's gonna make fun of you mm-hmm. yeah i think I, I think it's all like confidence you come to like the when you come to it because like um like i was talking to some girl she was like a little bit a little bit taller than me, but i never made it weird like i was literally always eye contact like mm-hmm. i level all the time because like oh shit look at this fucking jot of this shit Literally, like all the time, it's like, why am I? I'm not gonna be like. It's literally just like we're pretty much the same yeah, height. Yeah. We're pretty much the same height, so it's like, all right. If I we came up, we're making kids like I have to, like a little bit, but it's like I'm not gonna be like. Yeah. Would you like stand close to her though and like be comfortable? Or would you kind of like cower? Like. No, I literally just <laughs> not nah, fucking L Ray over here. <laughs> Jesus, right. I knew this motherfucker was gonna piss me off. Mm-mm. The no. entire fucking we time. A we have a fly gonna, here, guys. It. So it's you, called El Ray. Yeah, it's called El Ray. If you guys can tell on the podcast, it's literally it's fucking El Ray over here. It's fucking guy. Um, I can't fucking control that my height is. So like, <laughs> like if you're like six seven, there's plenty okay. of girls that are shorter than five seven. Yeah, hundred so. percent. Like if you're six seven, all right, if that's that's fucking crazy. Like, <laughs> all right, if you're what is it? Yao Main? Yeah, if you're, you're, you're fucking a foot taller than me, alright, that's fucking a little, that's, that's a little weird. But like, if we're like two, three inches in the fucking same, it's like stratosphere, well, I mean, what the fuck am I gonna do? Yeah, you're, you're really gonna judge someone for being fucking two inches shorter than you? I mean. No, not really. It Would you? It depends. Well, the inches only matter in a certain that's place. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. <laughs> Does it that's though? Fun. Does it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Like uh, yeah. Do you. Of course. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm just saying that just because someone is six foot two doesn't mean oh, wait. that their dick is gonna match the height. Mm. Boom. <laughs> Period. Exclamation mark. So if you're talking to somebody, this is the best dude in the world, the greatest guy, you go on the you hook up and it's not what you're looking for, done immediately? Or you give him like a chance or what what's going on? Is here? he funny? Uh, no, yeah, he's the, the best guy in the world. He's funny. He's good looking. He has a most important question: Is he good at head? Yeah, you tell me. Is he good? Is good at head? Like he's good at everything. He's good at literally everything. He's funny. He has but he's good got a family. Micro-penis? Got a good job. But what's a micro penis? Just... A micro penis is for sure anything under four inches, I guess. I guess okay. So he's, he's a micro penis. <laughs> My mozzarella stick. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, pull it up. Yeah, he's a little than that. Yeah. He's showing that, so like he's yeah, everything. Like, Wait, hold on, hold on. This is like like a little taller than my index finger. <laughs> if I can take yeah. my index finger and put it next to it and think about it, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't know what's going on here. He's falling at my good, fingers. He has, he has my fingers good. are way longer than Carrie's. Here, wait, wait, wait. Nice. Let's put our hands together. <laughs> Oh, we would have good sex. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Guys, uh, we're ending the podcast right now. We have to do it something real quick. We have an what? experiment to yeah. test out. Right, ASMR real, back, real quick on the podcast. Oh, oh shit, I'm horny as fuck. 
<laughs> Wait, earlier when um I was talking to Karen, um my mom overheard the uh the jinx and i said oh jinx i you soda yeah. but i said jinx i owe you a kiss <laughs> I, think I, I think i said jinx i owe you a kiss yeah that's what you said <laughs> oh, you never hear you never hear i'm not mad you guys are, no. i'm sorry i walked in i was like who are you talking to i was like karen she's like hmm. <laughs> oh you I guys like, kiss each other on the <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, you, you, have you seen the little uh, hashtag thing? Kissing the homies goodnight? Not gay. Oh, yeah, you gotta always kiss the homies goodnight right on the forehead. Though. Yeah. It's so sweet. Also, it's okay to be like a little gay. It's okay. And a lot it's, gay. It's, it's okay to be as much gay as you would like to be. Yeah. Hey, pride is it, is it okay week? to be a gay pride guy? Pride week? Is it Pride weekend or Pride week? I don't know. Well, pride, pride month? month. Hi, it's Pride Month. Let's go. Here, do you guys know why the Pride is a thing? No. Yeah, that started? No. Wait, no. What the fuck? No, we didn't finish this first topic. We're talking about here. We're talking about a lot of shit. Me and Katie are running the show. Yeah. So no, 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 Pride night first. All right. You answer questions. So like, if you, you didn't answer the question. Okay. The monster of dick thing. He had is everything that, going for him. Small? He is everything going. He's funny. He's good looking. Got a good job. He has the mozzarella dick. What are, we, what are we doing here? For you. I, I said as long as the head is good, that oh, okay. it doesn't matter. It's literally the only thing matters for you? Yeah. And, and they give me 5'7 for you. 5'7, everything, good head, but small dick, and you're cool. Yeah. No well, shit. You guys, you guys know our deal. It is, uh, her Instagram is right, he- right here. <laughs> Follow her. I will be following her after this. Uh, so, uh, you guys know where I'm at here. Mary Kwan, you send her dates. Let's get it. Yeah. My uh, answer is no. If it's a finger long, absolutely not. Well, guys, she's hard to get with. She's a personal trainer. Excuse me. I am 5'4". Look at these hands. I've been told I have child hands. So what's the difference? She's fucking five I'm like, eleven. I'm like a in Talladega Nights. What do I do with my hands? That's facts. Nah, if it's smaller than these. See, for me, it could be so small it could just be like a vagina too. At this point, like. <laughs> oh, it so, curls so inwards. So you're so you're like you're like you're kind of like at that point you're my so like you're LGBT. So that's where we get the Pride Month. Yeah. Now that's where we get to that Pride Month yeah. conversation. Oh, no one ends up on that. What are we doing here? Pride Month, baby. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my sponsors. <laughs> and that was our sponsors. We're, uh, we're good with um, adamandeve.com. And you want to get those uh, six-inch dildos bigger than your fingers. That's our, our uh, podcast uh, code. It is EGPOD. EGPOD. So, uh, yeah, put that in the, <laughs> that in the description link, and you'll get those... Uh, Five percent discount. So, um, yeah, if Katie can fucking deal with it, why can't you deal with it? What's the difference? Because I like sex. So. I mean, I'm sure Katie likes sex. Yeah, so that's not what I'm saying. saying. Not really. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, so like it's a little fine. different. Yeah, but. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> 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 oh, not that. having sex. <laughs> oh, that's not it. Hold on. Wait, ready? You sound like a slut. That's there me, baby. That's me. <laughs> Daddy out here. Dadiana. No. Um, what What did you say about LGTB? What the fuck? Oh, it's a Pride Month. I don't know. Is month. it? I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, I got a couple email? emails. No, no. Wait, not emails quite. about I got what? A couple emails. About, about Pride Month. For what? For the gays. Well, because big corporations, <laughs> big corporations yeah, big are like, yo, let's sell that rainbow. Flag. Did you see that like Chipo- the Chipotle one? No. Where it was like Homo oh. eats. <laughs> Wait, no, it wasn't even that. It was so bad. It's like, what are you talking about? That even like clever. It was. Oh, it was, was so, so bad. bad. It's, it literally said no, 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 Homo no. eats. No, 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 no. It was. It was even worse. It was Chipotle. Yeah, it's like Homo eats. Uh-uh. It's literally what it said. It was something else. No, nah, it was it was bad. Let me get it those, was, it those was pizza good. rolls, man. Yeah, oh my someone God. got fired, I think. Probably. <laughs> mm. Someone got fired, probably. Oh, it was bad. It was bad. Mm. You need to find it. We have good good shit. Yeah. I can go on my email. Gotta keep talking. Elray, Elray, what are you doing out here? Hmm? 
Mm. You're flying everywhere. You think you're you think you're the bitch of the the pod? No, he's here with us. What else? What else should I talk about? All right, so KS2 hey, Fitness. Ask me questions, guys. You know what I'm talking about? There's a talking about. We're fucking 40 minutes in, and no one's asked me a question yet. It happens every time. 40 okay, so I, I actually want to... I asked you about height. I'm just yeah, I'm just... I'm just ready then. I'm just going to I wanted to ask, like, how the podcast came about. I've yeah. been meaning to ask that. <laughs> That's what it said. It said, it said a homo sas. What? <laughs> A homo sauce? It's a homo sauce, yeah. Where the fuck is it at? Oh, homo estas. Yeah. Oh, it says homo estas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. With that fucking picture. Homo oh, estas. <laughs> Yo, that's it's a big ass burrito so too. That's like eight inches at least. Yo, that's crazy. That's Someone big, sat down that's and went, cop. delete C. Capital A. Yeah, they haven't even deleted it yet. It's been there since 626. Oh my god. That's a big ass burrito too. It's a big cock. It's a big cock. Big cock meat sandwich. Mm, um, uh, cock. Oh, Elray. Elray. Right. He's saying me. Yeah, he's um, here. Alright guys. Alright, you guys know Timmy. What's, what's up? Any questions for me? Let's, let's get it back to the host. How did the podcast come about? Oh, um, yeah, I've always wanted to do a podcast like for mad long, and then, um, yeah, no one ever had like it's like more like the reliability of it, and then like me and Diego just uh hit him up. He's like, oh, like I've always wanted to do a podcast. He tried to do it too, and no one ever wants to do it. Like the reliability, like I said, it's pretty it's pretty tough. And then we did like three weeks of like trials, and like they they were pretty bad to be honest. Like but they were really bad. He didn't have me on the podcast. I know, I know. You're tough to get along. You're tough. You're tough to coordinate at that point. And then, um, actually, one of the trials was going to your birthday party. Actually, um, yeah. And then, uh, we just uh started getting more guests and stuff like that. And then it just more came about that way. But um, yeah. I've always I've always wanted to do it for the past like three four years. Like just uh get like even I I mean I don't even care like the, the viewers and stuff like that. It's more just like the like the it's just cool doing it, like getting your voice out there. Like my boy today, like I posted some clips of him on the podcast from like a month ago because like it's been I've been doing a lot of shit the past month, and um, it has like seven hundred reviews right now. Like just like this is cool. Like, even seven hundred reviews, that's pretty. That's pretty solid. Like yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty, like getting out there. Like it doesn't even matter. Like, you never know what's gonna hit. You never know what's not gonna hit. So like, yeah, I mean, I feel like I have like a a lot to say about like sports, uh, pop culture. Um, Let's talk about the Celtics. Oh, no, you don't even want to get me started on this shit. Um, no, I, I, her, I'm I, so, I'm, I fully I'm her believe next. that this thing was rigged. There's no way. <laughs> no, no. There's I'm no the, I'm, way. No, I'm not. I wish I were here because we were just talking about this shit before. Um, honestly, like I'm the biggest Celtics fan, but the Celtics, the Celtics blew that shit. Like we should have went up three uh, one. Obviously, game four. We were up at like 10, 12 points in like the third quarter. We blew that shit. And once we blew that shit, I'm like. No, nah, they love to blow it. They nah, love yeah. to blow it. I don't. I wouldn't. I w- I'm not fucking over it. Get out of here. All right. Get the fuck out of here. I, I'm not like. Say if we lost to the Bucks. I would have been like, damn. The rats were giving like Giannis those calls. That's bullshit. But we even like beat Giannis in those calls. Like the, yeah. honestly, the Warriors were just like we gave the Warriors the game, and they capitalized and they beat us. Like the, they were hitting incredible shots. I fucking hate to admit it because I hate the Warriors, but like they were literally making the most incredible shots of all time, and we were literally our bench sucked. We weren't blocking yeah. them at all. Our turnovers were terrible. JT sucked. The turnovers. JB was like incredible. JB played his part. Our bench sucked. Grant sucked. Payne Pritchard sucked. Literally, JT was horrendous. Our turnovers were so bad. And then, literally, the Warriors just capitalized on all their opportunities. I mean, I hate to admit it, but, like, literally, we lost the series. Literally, we, we lost game five. We lost game six. That shit was terrible. I fuck. Literally, trust me. I want to be the bias fan. I want to. But it's literally, we lost that series. And uh, we literally played the worst three games in a row since, like, January. It's literally the fucking the worst we could have played in three games. It was I, bad. I always say this. The Celtics this season were extremely inconsistent. 
Sometimes we just be hitting threes, threes, threes over and over. Why? I don't know. If if you're not so confident in threes, well, I've seen we were, games where we're so good no. at threes and then shift over and then there's like no... Well, we were the number one defense in the league and we were... We were number two when three point percentage made, and then we just we just didn't hit it in the in the finals. So, I mean that is their game, like live or die by the three, and we uh we die by the three. I mean this is literally what it is. I mean, you make them or you don't make them, and uh, we did not make them. So it's tough to deal with because trust me, I want to fucking be bitter, but we just right, we literally just, make let's them. talk about something more positive. Um, Sex on fuck, a positive fuck, note. Fuck. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah. We're all wearing white. Oh, We're all wearing shit. White tonight. Come on, Katie. Bring it in. Bring it in. Mm-hmm. Bring it in. <laughs> you don't want to touch me? Hey. Hey. We're meant that, to that, that could be the thumbnail right there. Triplets. Mm. Hey, let's get it. Um, so, Katie, so you're a good looking, attractive girl. Tattoos, you're out here, you're yadded. So, what is your perspective and like what's like your uh, ideal guy on the dating scene what's getting your attention mustaches i'm, I, I'm taking notes i'm growing my mustache out <laughs> i don't usually like to do it but i will do it oh. do you like tanning guys i've been tanning in dr the past couple weeks <laughs> i think you can tell i'm the thing most tan guy here so. <laughs> do you like glasses oh, only guy. <laughs> Like every look. Yeah, if not, I'll put my contacts on. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm honestly just looking for mustaches. <laughs> oh fuck! Like like the the curling ones? No. Uh, okay. okay, a certain type of mustache. Well, you got you got you got to tell you. You're shooting a shot right here. You're telling your people okay, what you want. So, uh, any man with a fantastic mustache, uh, like not too long. You can't be curled at all. It can't have too much effort. Mm. It has to be an effortless, um, not too thin, not too thick, not too long, not too that's, short. That's like really. Detailed. You need to have a mustache, but it can't look like Hitler's. But it can't, <laughs> and it can't look like anybody else's that was famous at one point. But like, isn't Jesus not, You Christ. need to have your own personality when you have a mustache. <laughs> it gotta be blonde on top of that. It can't be too. Awkward, but can't be too yeah, like distinguished. It has to be like, all right, then you you do that shit. I'm yeah. say aqua. <laughs> distinguished, oh, maybe. Yeah, it can't be awkward either. Aqua or awkward. Aqua or awkward can't be yeah. blue. Yeah. Exactly. That's the, yeah. that's literally the first one. That's that's the first thing you said. So that's literally the first thing that catches your eye is someone's mustache. Yeah. If oh, someone Jesus. had a good mustache, mm. then I'd be like, oh, all right, yeah. name one famous person yeah, with a real. really good mustache that you would just be like. Oh, Who's man? Matthew Who's mustache? McConaughey. Jeez, that was fast. When he used to right. a mustache. Pull, all right. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, I can't even it. think of him it. wearing a mustache. Me neither. What movie? Yeah, what? What? What movie are you talking about? Days and Confused. He has a mustache. Oh, Who? Days and Confused is actually like a '90s movie. That's like that's before my time. Damn, she was back in her like, HBO <laughs> like the days her mom goes to bed. She she's like, like oh, fuck, Matthew McConaughey. Oh God, <laughs> <I> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking you oh, whack off him real quick. I don't even know what you're talking about to be honest. What fucking Days and Confused is the movie that he's in. I never seen it. I have no idea. You've never even heard of it. No. Mm. Let's, do, let's see it. It's All pretty right. good. All right, well, she's pulling that up. How about you? First thing you've seen, I got. All right. Perfect. Matthew Connery. That's yeah. fucking sexy. That's, yeah. that's like that's like a fucking. <laughs> that's prepubescent. Bro, he's like thirty in this. Even the bit in the movie is that he's like too old and no, he's still. No, that's like. like his that's like. Mad like. White high school like. That was like uh, you're okay, trying to. Like, that's like a post Malone mustache. You met, you met, you met this taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I like had mustache his mustache then. A little bit. I thought so you like tall guys. Like Fucking liar like over here. Long. He has, uh, right? They're smaller. And they're not like they're like I can't grab it and go like this. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I have a mustache growing right. It's been like a day. Oh. Catch me in two days. <laughs> we'll talk then. We'll talk then. <laughs> so, what's what's catching your eye? Um, if it looks like you go to the gym in in like any shape or form, like whether you run or like two miles, know, two miles is fine. Two miles is fine. Two miles is fine. But it's it's more so I like that lean look. I don't mm. like the big 
bulky, muscular. Oh, the guy, you can't answer the phone because, like, you're I don't want, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you got like, the oh, ILS, yeah. that invi- yeah. invisible lat syndrome yeah, you where you're like, fucking, like, walking you need around like this. Answer it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, no. Um, I do like the look of someone that, like, oh, it looks like you go to the gym, but it doesn't look like your whole life is dedicated mm. to the gym. Even though it probably is, but, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> like, you're going hard, nice butt, but, nice like, yeah, 100%. Oh, a nice pair of calves. Get out of town. Dude, mm. nice ass is all that really matters. Your Have you seen my cheeks? Uh, turn around. Oh, yeah, I got them a little bit. I got them stand up, bit. stand yeah, up. Yeah, I got them a little bit. Yeah, a lot of compliments. Right, what are you looking for in a... In a woman, or you know what's crazy? It's like no, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, you definitely gotta be cute. I, I can't even front. Like I can't, Obviously. I can't date a girl. A girl's like ugly. Uh, no, I don't think anyone can. Yeah, no, nah, like for, I mean, no, nah, you definitely can. Like I was talking. I mean, not me, but like I was talking to someone. Like and we were watching like a show, or whatever. Like one of those like fucking like on shows like A and E or whatever. It's like yo, like, the fat five hundred people shit or whatever. If you are into that, it's like how in the world people can- like it because there's like there's like a science behind it. So there's one there's people that obviously like it because one being fat actually used to meant that you were rich, right? So that you could afford money to mm. pay mm. to eat to, to eat. Yeah, exactly. Or two more cushion for the push. But what does that even mean? <laughs> like I can fuck someone who is a, a nice. <laughs> I fucking choked an elevator real quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you have a nice ass, like, just cushion right there so I can just fuck that cushion. Like, what? Right, but I don't what get if the you're cushion. in the missionary position, there's no really cushion, right? Actually, kind of. It depends on how big your ass is. I guess. I mean, is that better for you? Like, you know. I don't know. Maybe, like, all right, now. All right, let's not, let's not, like, hone in on sex, but let's yeah, think no, about, it's like, not even sex. sex. But it's not even sex, but, like, it's honestly not even sex for me. It's like. All right, you gotta be cute. First off, like, I, like well, yeah, you. Yeah. There, there's someone for everyone, so like, cute yeah. is like a cute like blanket term. Yeah, cute like, is a blanket term. Hundred percent. Someone cute. No, for sure. So for you're sure. saying you have well, to be, I have to be attract- attracted to someone in order to want to have sex. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, yeah. you have to be attractive. Like, I can't. It can't just be like anybody. Oh, it was in my hair. It was all right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I, I had to find you attractive. Hundred percent. Obviously, like. So looks for me are part. Obviously, looks are different to everybody, but then there's different. There's definitely like, uh, a, like a aspect of it. Like, to me at least, you have to have like same kind of like family orient, like uh, I don't say orientation, but like family uh, guideline. I don't know what the fuck. I have the term. Some values. Yeah, values. Yeah, hundred percent. Family values. Family values is me, hundred percent. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking of. Definitely, family values, hundred percent, as me. Um, definitely have that, like the same like ambition, like not same ambition, but like, at least like ambition to like work to like a portion of like, like like where you want to like go to like a different level. So like, if you're not on the same level, like, if you're not trying to like level up or like go somewhere different in life, like if you're just like content, like like where you are in life, or, like. Oh, you're content just making I don't know like forty thousand or thirty five thousand, um, whatever. Like you know, what I'm saying like you have to like fifty thousand and this year, and then like sixty thousand next year, seventy thousand next year. Like, leveling up, like I'm not saying like you have to be at hundred thousand or like two hundred thousand when we meet. But as long as you're trying to level up like every year, like oh I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that. Like oh I'm not content with this. That's where I'm trying to get at. Like yeah, everyone's at different levels of all the time, but like. You have to at least be like doing stuff. Like even this would go the like yes, yeah, he's like even trying to level up, like kill this fucking L Ray motherfucker. Um <laughs> <laughs> nah, like <laughs> But like you have to like I don't know, it's different, like even like little, little shit, like even like say like if I was talking to a girl and like we're on different levels like money value wise and uh say like she was doing this like with her friends, like this being the podcast, like so like, hey, I'm trying to do a podcast. Like, you never know. It might blow up. Yo, know, it might blow up. How the fuck do I know? You literally never know. Like, it could be fucking pink table talk with fucking... You never know. So, like, she's doing that every night. Like, yo, this shit's going to blow up. And she don't see it until, like, three years. That's... That, yo, that's... At least she's doing something to fucking stay home doing nothing all fucking night watching Netflix. So, like, you literally never know. As long as those different types of stuff. Like, you have ambition. That's literally the biggest thing for me. Because, like... Yeah, that's, that's a huge thing for me, you honestly. You know that song, Ambition? Easy to dream a dream, though it's hard to live it. By who? Wale. 
Well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did a song, like, in, like, high school, a presentation. And it was supposed to be, like, you analyzing, like, different, like, sections of the song and then interpreting what you think it means. <clears throat> and although, although I went to a very white school, I... Oh, man, what grade was I in? I might have been a freshman. Ninth Wait. grade. Yeah, it was... No. With, a, a lyrical like yeah it was like I think it was a freshman no no this no, was high school this oh, was Violet okay, okay. yeah oh. Miss Violet yeah oh, Miss Violet was hot and she went to the she went to the college that I went to so I remember her teaching us about being like politically correct and um and so just it just applied to like PC just being PC um but she I I analyzed the song Ambition by Wale and I was like yeah yeah, yeah. there was like one like <laughs> Like a like blurb that it was about like um, it, it's all about money. It's all about money, but I somehow related it to Love. World War Two. No, uh, World War Two. <laughs> what the fuck? I know why it never came up talking yeah. about World War Two. Yeah, I did. Huh. Yeah, and I chose that one, and I chose the um, I see a red door and I want to paint it black. I chose mm-hmm. it was three songs. And it was all about war. It was a war that you have in yourself. And so that eighth grade topic was like, pick a song, figure out what what dilemma this the artist has and interpret it and somehow relate it back to World War II. So in Ambition by Wale, it was, um, it was about him like living, growing up, not as pa, like in a, like the, the lower half, you know? Yeah. And then growing to to be rich and then What did you get in your grade? <laughs> that I have no idea. <laughs> Probably an A, motherfucker, because I was a nerd in high school. Let's go <laughs> Were you a nerd as well, Katie? Were you guys in the same grade? No, no I'm older. Yeah. Oh, I love older chicks. <laughs> older hot, taller chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'll just keep I'll go like this one. I love younger <laughs> short chicks too So oh, yeah, okay. It's a heavy medium and everything I'm not looking for anyone I didn't say I was on the market oh, whatever then <laughs> Fuck out of here, man Fuck, I like taller objects anyway <laughs> That's what my mom about <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my fucking eyes are killing me Oh Why? my god are you- And what were you guys saying? And what I was saying was Brought to you by blank The official beer of blank <sighs> It's tough. I didn't want to say the beer brand because we're not sponsored by them. I don't give a fuck. We can maybe get sponsored by them. So, brought to you by blank. Well, it's not a blank. Brought to you by BL, the official beer of blank. Wait, how does... um? I, honestly, I, forget, I always forget how cars... Because we these work. Um, you just... Okay, first of all, actually, Cards Against Humanity, in order for you to start playing... The f- the person who had the most recent poop goes first. <laughs> yeah, probably me. <laughs> you think so? Uh, I think I know so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she can say that dub. She can say that dub. <laughs> All right. Damn. Well, anyways, uh, back to follow my KS Fitness page. I'm gonna start posting stuff, some more things, some more goals. We're gonna see if uh, I reach them. I'm gonna hold myself accountable. You guys can shit on me. It's honestly my my favorite thing is when people shit on me. Oh, are you into you into shit right yeah, on my yeah, chest? Shit. Yeah. No, you know it's crazy. If I'm be honest, I was uh, talking to a chick one time. And she was like, hey, "You wanna you wanna shit on my chest?" And I was like. It's mm. called something. What's that called? No. I was <laughs> really? like, no, I don't at all. <laughs> she she wanted, like, she was yes. ready. She was like. Yes. She was like. Give like, me the poop. Were you guys just hanging out? Like, what? Was this post, was this, I need more of a setup. We're hooking up. And oh, I'm, like, I'm oh, done. Yes, and I'm like, no, we're, yeah, we're hooking up. It's not, it's not fucking nowhere. Like, some girls <laughs> hooking up. But and after like, I, I was done. She was like, oh, like, hey. You want to shit on my chest? I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> just, and like, I'm I'm cool with like freaky shit. I'm like, oh yeah, like I, I'm cool with freaky shit. But she's like, what? I'm like, no. I was like, no, nah, I can't, I can't. And she was like, you sure? I'm like, I'm positive. I have no way. <laughs> Wait, There's okay. no way. So then let's go through. What's the weirdest shit that you've ever been asked on on a date? 
on a date on a date yeah on a date like either mid hooking up after what do you mean like, up. like first like first date or yeah let's talk about date. first no let's talk about first all right kitty go first <laughs> I, I haven't thought of something yet. Someone else. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> I'll start. Um, <laughs> like, I got it on deck already. Here we go. Yeah, I think that the weirdest thing that I've ever experienced was getting told I love you. That's right not after. sexual. I'm thinking like right after someone's gonna like wanna right, fucking first, shit on your face or first, something. Our first fuck, our first hangout, and this motherfucker says I love you. And that's yeah, that's weird. 100, percent that's weird. But oh, I thought, I thought it was on like freaky something? shit. Yeah, I thought it was on like right, freaky right, shit. Right, hold on, let me think about it then. That that's what I thought, right? Well, well, well I don't know. You, that was your question. So, like, what is it? Freaky shit or like weird? I guess it's not the weird. This reader's request. I guess it's. Uh, I guess it's not a request. Weird. He's it's telling just saying you. Saying I love you. Yeah, it's not a request. He's telling no, you he loves you. No, it's still weird as fuck. Yeah, it's not a request though. <laughs> Okay, all right, request. Let's see. Let me think about it. Okay, well, yeah, I've been told that, too. Do you have the, uh, (laughs) the teeny, 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 No, like, sounds like a commuter, a computer's about to start spinning out. I've been told, one time, well, I'm not, it's not the first time, but, like, I was going, I was talking to a chick for, like, maybe, like, a month. I did not love the chick at all. And I dropped her off, and she was, like, I was like, all right, bye. She's like, all right, bye. Love you. Close the door. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, uh, and she uh, ran into her mom's room. No, I, like, I, I said, I love him. And he didn't say anything back. <laughs> <laughs> she said, like, love you. Close the door. I'm like, uh, uh, buck. The fuck? I do not love you back at all. What the fuck? It's been like three weeks. Weirdest, what the request, re- weirdest request I got actually was kind of recently. It was a double team. You got double team? I didn't sorry. get double teamed, uh, but, but the was Tinder requested. kid, he was requesting it. And he was telling hey, me. Hey, hey, hey. He was requesting two guys on you or like. Two guys on me. Who the fuck else? And like, it what could be mean? him and two girls. No, no. It was him and his buddy and just onto me. He was so hot, I consider it. For a second. Oh shit! <laughs> but I never met up with him. But then I was, I was like, no, I was like, yeah, I think you're hot, and like your friend on your profile is like cute too. But like, I'm not. Wait, hold on a second. So it was, it was literally so okay. Have drugs out there. Say like it was me and you match, and then it was me and it was me. Me my, and you. Me, me, my first picture. Yeah. And then me and El Ray second picture. <laughs> and then you're like, uh, and then I was like, yo, you're hot. Do you want to fuck me and my buddy in the second picture? That's a, yes. Literally, is that how it went? Yes, that's exactly all right. how it was. I had to add you on my Tinder profile. <laughs> we would be bagging bitches all day, bro. We would just like, what's today? Fish call, bro. We'd be bagging bitches. Fish call, baby. Yeah, let's get it. Let's go. It's not fish call. What was it called before? Dur- oh, Whiskey Republic. Ah, Whiskey Thursday. Oh, Whiskey Thursday, baby. Whiskey Thursday, whiskey baby. Whiskey. whiskey Dick, let's get it. It was Whiskey Republic. It's, it's not Whiskey anymore. Nah, it's Whiskey no, it's Dick Thursdays call. now. Oh. Uh, it's mm. what? What's your dick Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, I thought it was. It was literally me, the first picture. Then me and El Rey. <laughs> you want to yeah, bang me and El Rey? <laughs> Damn, that's a, that's a good friend. That's mad funny. No, yeah. <laughs> that's mad funny, but yeah. I, I thought about it for a second. I thought about it for like 10 seconds. Maybe like 35 12, seconds. Yeah, Maybe like, like yeah. <laughs> I, I, super, I, was like, I super I was liked like, it. I was like, uh. <laughs> so why did you say well, no? Uh, because he was super sketchy and he was like, yeah, no, we're like, we're le- we live in like Georgia and like, yeah, oh, we're lying. just visiting. Yeah, we're just visiting for a little bit. And so he wanted me to go to his hotel room and I was like, no, oh. I'm not going. Trying and he was a model. He was a model for mm-hmm. like fitness clothing and oh, i was like lying. nah i was like ah, that's just, that's Wait. too weird that's too like i can i can leave without a trace type existence i don't yeah think that. well l ray so you slacks you could have came tonight motherfucker look, look what you could have been doing could have been a foursome hey jesus christ could have been a foursome l ray 62 <laughs> <laughs> he's 62 and levels up, the and, level, and levels up the heights and levels up the heights 62 <laughs> you me and then karen so we would have been good. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, guy. 
You but, um, <laughs> not, but not for real. So, uh, well, I was for real. But uh, wait, how do you even get a topic? Oh, we're talking about threesomes? How the fuck is that topic? Um, I you asked about what's weirdest the weirdest. Request. Oh, yeah, so the weirdest request. That was the weirdest request you ever got. No, the weirdest request, I guess, was the. It's not even a request. It was the "I love you," but uh, I guess the the double team. The double team was the weird mm. request. Yeah. Oh, I got way more. I got weirder shit than that. One hundred percent. What was your request? Oh, well, the shit. Guys, yeah, let's get a word from our sponsors. We'll be back in two seconds. <laughs> and we're back, Katie. What's your weirdest response? My wait, what? Your weirdest request. I don't know. I, I'm, like, I love a, I love I'm a, trying to think. I'm like, what's like something that I thought was weird that like I well, didn't what think? You, Wait, yeah, what, what, what about like getting requested a pegging? But like, is that weird? Is it weird? I don't know. Is it? Is it weird? I've if never I been didn't asked then? a pegging. <laughs> She's like, I want to. What the fuck? <laughs> no, oh. no, I definitely don't. Have you been requested a pegging? I mean, it's just been like done. Oh, she's it's done been, like, it. It was never requested. It just happened. Yes. <laughs> so that's not weird to you, then? No. I know. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that's like weird. Like <laughs> you can't that bypass time. that. Like oh, this, this has been done. It's not weird. Yeah. So that's just casual to you, then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're into that? Oh, she's yeah. a casual oh. beggar. Casual. Oh, so <laughs> is that literally like you're into that? Like you're talking to a guy, so like, we're gonna get it done. Not like it's not like. I'm not gonna force it onto a guy, but if a guy like wants it and hmm. like, they'll know that I'm already down. Like from just. Oh, wait, how does someone know that you're down? Like, okay. <laughs> Why are you looking at her? How the fuck does she know? She's in there. You double like, team with I've, maybe, like, never, my, heard of, my, I've my, never been involved in pegging. No, 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 but like for my personality, like I feel like I. I see like she's a very that open would. girl. Like, she's a very big open book type person. How the fuck do you yeah. said that? You don't like going out. How the fuck are you not going out and you're pegging people? Where's a, <laughs> where's a meeting? Have a meeting in this aspect of this. I'm not Lots. judging at all. I'm like, as, as being a host, no. like so, like, you're not going uh, out. I'm not going, where are you meeting yeah. people who are just down to get pegged. I mean, like. And I'll, again, apps. I'm not judging at all. I'm just literally yeah, just intriguing yeah, yeah, this apps. conversation. Apps. She's on the app. I'm just like, I don't know. I, I feel like every guy that I go for, or maybe guy that like goes for me, is just like into interesting things. And I'm like, yeah, let's fucking give it a go. So it's, it was it. It's all right. So we just opened up a whole new Pandora. What the fuck are you doing over here? Nothing. <laughs> she's I'm she's like rapping. Me. She's fucking. She's doing like fucking. I'm doing the DJ stuff. Oh. I'm DJing right now. Oh, yeah. I'm drinking up during the podcast. You sound like a slut. Hey! <laughs> okay. And what's up, guys? Yeah, um, the conversation got pretty intense, and Karen and Katie needed a break, and we were going to restart up after, but it was pretty late that night, and um, we kind of, you know, we took a little break, we went outside, we were hanging out, and then it kind of just never happened, so uh, we kind of know got together and we said uh let's schedule a part two a second date so um yeah so we're gonna restart just you know didn't add up that night so uh, yeah katie and karen will be back the conversation started getting pretty intense so um yeah it was getting interesting to say the least so um yeah i can't wait to have katie and karen back i appreciate them coming through it was a good time good vibes um just met katie that night and she was pretty chill Karen, you know, go follow her fitness page right here where she was doing the little DJ thing, the KS underscore two underscore fitness. Follow my girl Katie at Katie Malogowski. Hopefully I said that right. Follow us, EG Pot of Thunder on TikTok and Instagram, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. We're everywhere. Amazon and Audible now. So give us those follows those downloads subscribe helps out a lot get that five star review we appreciate it um yeah we got more coming through we have a a lot of episodes banked up and we're getting more content pushing now so hope you guys enjoy the content hope you guys keep coming through and you know supporting that love again we have a lot of football players coming through for the summertime um i'm really you know glad how we're becoming a place where football players can come and tell their story hopefully get you guys some nil deals um, you know, trying to make round football better, small businesses, people's stories, their fitness pages. We're trying to make everyone better here at the EG Pot of Thunder. Come through, follow, get us support. We appreciate it, baby. Let's get it. Oh.
Thank you.